Hey friends, it's Jay Rye. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Today, I am giving you a review of a hotel in Anaheim, right in the Disneyland Resort area. It's Hotel Indigo. Now, I've stayed at Hotel Indigo uh, downtown in downtown Los Angeles. And when I saw that they had another location here in Anaheim, I said, I just need a hotel for one All night. Right. Running to the uh, Disneyland Grand Reopening after the pandemic uh, right now in 2021. So I booked the Indigo and this is going to be a complete top to bottom review of this hotel. So this hotel is very compact. You drive in and park and the entrance to the hotel is a small lobby, very small as you can see here. It is a gorgeous outlook though. You're looking literally at Catella Boulevard, um, but the way that the garden district is with the Disneyland Resort, there's so much landscaping and foliage that it makes it very gorgeous you know it's it's like it makes you feel that you are in a luxury area because there's just so much greenery uh it is very tight though that is definitely the first observation from getting in the door here now looking at the hotel from the outside in again it's a very short distance from the sidewalk to the street to the actual hotel it's tight but there's this music playing and there's kind of a vibe you know, which is cool. It reminds me of the Indigo in Los Angeles, but it seems odd. It's a kind of out of place because this music's playing, but it's just a rock garden. Um, and it's like, uh, well, there's no place to dance and nobody's like drinking here. There's not a bar or anything. So it's like, uh, what exactly are you trying to do here? It's, um, it's a bit odd. Um, but yeah, I can tell that they're very limited on what they were able to do here because the real estate is so tiny. You can see a little mosaic there in the elevator shaft, right? But uh, let's get inside now. So this is the hallway connecting the rooms. Okay, there's some little, uh, you know, like uh, there's some little poster art here that makes it look uh, very green. Now we're going to look out the window here at the pool area not very inspired not a good looking pool and it can take a look at the bottom there it's really dirty the bottom of that pool is is kind of gross uh not feeling that whatsoever um and then look there's the parking lot and there's a, a another wing of the hotel going out the other side very blase looking straight at parking lot and uh yeah again not very inspired so We'll walk down the hallway. You'll notice this is a very simple carpet that gets uh, repeated in little squares. Um, you know, it looks like some cheap stuff that they would have put in an office building. Sorry to be harsh, but I gotta be honest with you. You know, this, this place is, you know, not that great. It's cheap, but eh, you can kind of tell. All right, now we're stepping in the room here. We've got uh, double beds. Uh, they were comfortable, they were fine. Nothing exceptional here. Your simple stuff, you've got the clock radio, you've got the phone, you know, you've got acorns on the wall again. It's sort of, uh, it's just kind of, eh, it's standard. Looks like a hotel that you would book for a convention, you know, when you're in the Midwest. Now, mind you, I only paid, I think, $120 or something for this for the night. So it was cheap, but it felt like it also. You've got this old school um, air conditioner, you know, built into the wall there. And it's just hotel row. You look out the window, more hotels. Um, all right, we got the light here in the bathroom. We've got a couple of uh, halfway decent uh, products here. Um, they're okay. The sink was cool. Um, you got an eco toilet here. You got a step in shower. Again, it's fine, but not what I'm used to and not anything that I would write home about or, you know, recommend in a, in a great fashion. All right, now it's evening. And again, there is the parking lot, which nobody should be looking at the parking lot when you are in the hotel. And this is their outdoor lounge. So if it were open, this is where you would be having drinks. No music no vibe again they're missing out here uh, i understand that it's quarantine so not everything is operational but even if it was i don't want to have a drink where i'm looking at you know the parking lot and you know cars backing up checking into the hotel 
All right, now this is stepping into the elevator, which looks out at Catella. I called it Catella Boulevard. It's actually Catella Avenue. Excuse me for getting that wrong earlier. Um, now, this is foggy. The glass, it's clean-ish, but it's got like this weird like funk on it. Again, I just don't understand why this hotel feels like they're not even trying. It, this is not a good view. You have a glass elevator looking out at the street and it's filthy. So there really isn't much more to show you about this hotel. I showed you everything except for the restaurant, which isn't open right now. And it's just a bunch of stacked chairs. Um, but uh, yeah, I can't recommend this hotel. I mean, even though I only paid $120, there are about 30 hotels within a mile of this one that probably are a little bit better. And I'm going to keep exploring and find other ones for you. But um, I can't recommend this place. Now, let me show you. I, in fact, I'm going to give it a four. I'll give it a four out of 10. Now, let me show you why uh, this really is disappointing, because I told you that I stayed at the Hotel Indigo in downtown Los Angeles. Now, this is the Hotel Indigo. It's a skyscraper. It is a tall building. It looks new. It looks nice. And then take a look when you get to the inside. It is gorgeous. There's design. There's thoughtfulness. There's space. It makes you feel semi-luxurious. I really enjoyed my stay there. I stayed there after a, uh, a, a concert, a, a festival in downtown Los Angeles. Look at this room. This room is no comparison compared to the one in Anaheim. And this is part of why I have such an issue here is because you should not call that Hotel Indigo because they are not at all the same quality. Now, if you go with Marriott or uh, Hilton or something like that, they have different uh, levels of their hotels. But if we get a courtyard, you know what a courtyard by Marriott is. If you go to the Hilton, you know what the Hilton is. Indigo should not have their hotels all called Indigo if they're going to have such a wide, wide variance in quality. This hotel has such low quality. I give it a four. The one in downtown LA, I'll do a review on it another time. I would give that one like a nine. It was fantastic. But yeah, it's very misleading to call these hotels the same name because they are not at all the same. All right, so in conclusion, I think you see where I stand on this hotel in Anaheim, Hotel Indigo in Anaheim. Uh, again, uh, can you have a clean bed to stay? Sure, but that's not enough in my book. Uh, I don't care if it was only $120. It should have been better. Um, anyway, this is J. Rye with another J. Rye review here from Anaheim. It's J. Rye World on Instagram and on YouTube. I appreciate you watching. I hope you consider subscribing and leave a comment too. Let me know if you've stayed at any other hotels like this in Anaheim. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time.